Hey, welcome back guys. This is Mark Thompson and in this video we're going to go through the steps for proper keyword research when you are trying to find a niche um, that has high search volume and low competition. So let's go through the steps and then we're actually going to do kind of a live exercise for it. So, <clears throat> so the first step is to find, uh, start finding potential product ideas and themes that you could possibly build a site around. Okay, what I usually try to do is is find 10 to 15 product ideas. Okay, and I'll explain why we do that in a little bit. But um, so what I'll do is just take a notepad. I'll start. I'll do that exercise where I find hot products to promote. Um, a few other things that I do, and then I'll start writing down just possible ideas. Okay, we want to make sure that they fit inside the guidelines of a thousand exact searches per month. Um, it's more than 150 dollars and and it has a, at least 75 reviews, okay? Step two is to start looking at the competition by doing a Google, Google search and see how saturated the market is, okay? At this point, it, this is nothing too in-depth yet, okay? We're going to go through more in-depth keyword analysis, but for now, we're just trying to get a feel for the different keywords and, you know, just more... Um, just glancing at the first page of Google to see how saturated it is from more of like a bird's eye view. Okay. Step three is after we've done that, we want to start to narrow down our list to the top three to five products that we'd want to focus on. Okay. We're going to start to expand our keyword list and research other long tail keywords that we have an opportunity to rank for. Okay. We may also want to put those keywords into Google trends and make sure that there is market demand um, that it's either steady or it's increasing. Okay, we um, especially when you're researching products that you don't have a lot of, um, you, you don't know a lot about. You're not sure if if it's a a product on the decline or if it's you know um, been discontinued or whatnot. So putting in the, putting it into Google Trends will help to tell you if there's still um, you know steady market demand. <clears throat> so once we've narrowed down, you know our winner. Um, you know, based on those three to five uh, different product ideas, I'm going to start to search for exact match domains. I'll look first for a .com, then I'll look for a .net, and then I'll look for a .org. Okay, and so what I usually try to do is I'll do the product keyword .com. If I can't find that, I'll do .net or .org, and then if I can't find that, I'll look. I'll start to do like product product keyword, and then review or reviews. Um, those do really well because a lot of people are always searching for reviews to find if it's a quality product or not. So those are those are high quality um, buyers. They have buyer buyer intent. Okay. The other um, domain that I like to buy is buy and then the product and keyword. Okay. If someone's looking to buy that product, they, they'll probably just Google buy. <clears throat> so you can get a lot of search volume for that as well. You can use the Azon um, Spy software to help find exact match domains. Or you can go to instantdomainsearch.com, and it'll tell you if the .com, .net, or .org is available um, for whatever keyword that you specify. Okay, so now we're actually going to do this exercise, and uh, I'm going to switch over to my screen. All right, guys. So now we're looking at my browser, and so what what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with shopping.com. I'm going to look at the popular pages just to get some ideas, okay? So right now I'm just trying to find a bunch of different products that I could potentially use to build a, a niche site around. So uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to look at maybe some binoculars. Let's see what I can find here. Looks like they only have one. Okay, so so this C, CZ binoculars, I uh, don't know much about them, but I'm just going to write it down. I also have that Canon... 1000D, I thought that was a, a good one. Um, whoops. <clears throat> Binoculars. Okay, so I'm going to hang on to that for a little bit. Um, let's see what else is around here. All right, I'm going to go back. Back to popular pages. Let's look at, um, I don't know, let's do maybe a nice watch. Referee watch doesn't look that expensive. No, these are actually fairly cheap. Here's an Adidas watch. So maybe like this Adidas response referee. 
so I'm going to hang on to that. It's around 100. It's 138 dollars, but you know that's still pretty close. It's a it's a decent amount for a watch. Uh, let's see what else I can find here. Let's do. I mean, digital cameras are always really good because they're they're usually expensive. Let's do this. Um, let's look at the uh, the Ni the Nikon D5000. We're going to add that one. Maybe even the the Nikon D90. All right. Nikon D90. So here's my here's my list so far. Um, we can go back. Let's do let's do baby care. Polka dot. So maybe like a video monitor could be a good one. Um, I'm gonna write that down. So I just got the idea just from looking at this baby monitor. So baby oops monitor so maybe like a baby like a video baby video monitor that could be something that we want to search for um, let's see um, maybe a perfume or a cologne that just came out that could be interesting romance by maybe Let's look at this. <clears throat> okay, ro uh, romance by Ralph Lauren. Maybe that. I don't know if that's a new one. We could. We'll check it out later. I think that's been around for a while. But just another idea. Uh, I'm going to go to Amazon. I'm just going to take a look at some different categories here. Uh, maybe let's do. Let's do home, let's do kitchen and dining. Some let's look at some appliances. Those are always pretty expensive. Maybe um maybe a mixer. So here's a KitchenAid. Maybe this KitchenAid here might be a good one. Alright. So you can already see it's two hundred and thirty-three dollars. There's almost two thousand customer reviews. I mean this is a big product. Okay, so there, this might have a lot of competition, but you know, again, this is just uh, looking at some new ideas. Um, maybe a sunbeam. No, it's pretty cheap. Um, what I could do is just sort by highest to low. I mean, look at this this dough mixer. I mean, this this could be good here. I mean, look, this is almost fifty thousand dollars. So I mean, that that could be huge. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a lot of search volume, but let's uh, let's put that in there and on our list. Oops, let me go back here. So I mean, these are you know commercial grade mixers, which could be a good niche. You know, I never really looked at this, but there's lots of different brands here. Okay, so I mean, you could do a whole thing just on on these commercial mixers here if you wanted to. Here are all the different brands that you could write about. So just coming up with some more ideas. Uh, let's look at maybe luggage. I mean, I know there's expensive luggage sets. I'm not sure if people are buying it online. I mean, obviously, let's see here. Here's 48 reviews. I mean, it looks like there's some demand, but the pr the price is pretty low. Uh, maybe like so, Samsonite travel set. I don't know. So I know Samsonite's a pretty big brand. I'm just gonna put Samsonite on there. So we'll come back to that. Okay. Um, let me go back to. Let's do maybe some GPS units. Maybe there's some new GPSs that came out that we could look at. Those are fairly expensive. Okay, so here's a model here, this Garmin. Oops. Okay, let's try maybe this one here. Now, I know Garmin would probably be extremely hard to rank for, but if we can get maybe this the new V series or maybe even a specific model we can if it gets a lot of search volume maybe we'll build a site around that how about like a handheld GPS that could be 
that could be a niche right there. Handheld GPS, um, maybe like sports and fitness GPS. That could be that could be something we want to look more into. So I'm just getting some more ideas. Uh, let's try sports. I know like golf. Golf is a really big niche. Um, here's golf. Maybe there's some new clubs. Uh, here's a GPS range finder. That could be something interesting. Those are usually those are three hundred dollars right there. So that could be uh, a niche that we go into. Uh, let's see. Let's look at Cleveland golf clubs. Uh, so let's let's just put one of these clubs on here. Maybe we can find some good search volume for that. I mean, only one review, one review. Let's see if um, average customer review. So I'm sorting this by review. It doesn't look like there's a lot of reviews here, so maybe those aren't being purchased as much. Maybe we could try like um, maybe Callaway, since Callaway is a pretty big brand. Uh, so here's and this is interesting. This Callaway QuadNet. There's 36 reviews. It's 163 bucks. I'm just gonna put that on here. So right now, I mean, it's it's been about eight minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I have 16 different uh, potential sites that I could I could build a, a product around. So once I have those. I'm going to go into the keyword tool, and you'll see that the, the Canon 1000D, I had that up first. Um, I was looking at the exact match. So there's 74,000 uh, searches each month for the Canon 1000D. I'm also going to look at all of the different uh, keywords here. So people are searching review, I mean 36,000, okay? Um, people are looking for the price, another review. Um, I mean, so there's a lot of search volume for this camera. People are looking at the specs, the manual, Rebel XS. Okay, so there's there is a good amount of volume now. What we want to do is see, you know, what comes up when we do a Google search for that. So let's do. Okay, so we see the shopping results. We see Wikipedia. We see the Amazon. Um, ca you know, CameraLabs.com. This looks to be more of an authority website. That's why they're ranking for this. Um, so I'm going to look at the website, and, and we'll go more in depth on this. Um, you know, right now I'm just getting a bird's eye view as to you know, do I see any domains that have exact match domains, which I don't, which is a good sign. Um, so what I may want to do is um, go to the instant domain search tool. And you could also use the Azon Spy software, obviously. Um, so Canon 1000D is the .NET is available. Okay, so that's interesting. I may want that one. Um, Canon 1000D Review .NET is available. Looks like reviews is taken. Review. So now, when I look at, at the keyword research, Canon 1000D Review. 36,000 unique visitors. So that alone can drive me some significant amount of volume. It's extremely targeted. It's a, a specific brand uh, or product model, and um, and it has buyer's intent. Okay, so this is actually a really good uh, example. So I may want to take the .net or the .org. It would be nice to get the .com, but um, that's okay. So maybe even try buy. Canon 1000D, which is available. Okay, um, I could even do like Canon Rebel 1000D. I think it's a Rebel, um, so that could be an option too. But if if I'm trying to get the exact match domain, I may want to go with Canon 1000D review because that'll give me a a bonus in the uh, the organic search results. So I mean, overall, this looks pretty good. I still need to do some some competitor analysis on these sites, but. And this this seems to be something I can rank for. I mean, there's this is a Flickr page um, showing a, an image. So I mean, there's no reason why we can't get above that with with some minimal links. So this could be a really good opportunity to to snatch some of that traffic. Okay. So so that I'm going to keep that on my list, but I'm also going to start looking at some of these other um, products that I looked at. So let's do this binocular, this Carl uh, whatever it is um, binoculars. Um, so not a ton of search volume, so 
discount binoculars. Uh, let's see. Carl Zeiss lenses. I mean, that, that could be good. I mean, there's 29,000 exact matches. So I'm just, you know, there's a little bit of competition. So maybe we build a site just on the lenses. You know, that's People are searching that. Okay. Um, so I do the same thing. You know, if I found that maybe the, the lenses, let's do, let's do a search in Google for that. Okay, uh, you can see, I mean, it's Wikipedia again, it's shopping sites. There's no reason why we can't get above those. Here's Flickr again. Um, I mean, th this should be fairly easy to rank for. Uh, what I'll do is go into Amazon, see how much they cost. I mean, look, let's see here. I mean, this lens costs $850, $1,800. There's been 27 reviews, so, I mean, not it's not a lot of reviews, so the... The um, the demand for this product may not be very high because it's it's fairly pricey, but you know this may be something that you want to go after. It's a high ticketed item. You can get some good commission, so you don't need to have a lot of traffic coming into the site. Um, but so I may look at those reviews and see if if they're positive reviews, and I may want to create a uh, a, a niche site based on that lens. Okay, so you'd, I'd want to do that with all of these different products, and then I'll get a better understanding of. Okay, is there enough search volume? Um, you know, just at a glance, does it, does the competition look really saturated, or is it something that I can, um, you know, try to build a site around? Uh, then I'm also going to do the the domain search. Let's take a look here. Call this lenses. So that that domain .net is available. So that may be a good um, a good one to get. Here's a, we could do like a lens lens review. So this .com is available, so that may be worth checking out. Um, I'm going to just do one more search here. I'm just going to see if if anyone's searching for reviews. Okay, so only 110 searches for that exact phrase, but you know, here's 110 for. Um, let's see if there's any other variations of that. Okay, I mean, there's so you know what I'm looking at is not necessarily just that one exact keyword, but also aggregating all this other keyword research to see up to find other similar terms that are related to this type of lens that people may be searching. So this they're looking for, you know, for the Canon specifically. Same here. So all of this aggregated data can um, generate a lot of traffic. Now it's just a matter of if you can rank for all these different keywords, but there's lots of different options here with this lens. Okay, um, let me see here if we've, I think we've gone through. I think we've gone through all the different steps. So you know, one. So after I've looked at all the lists, I'm going to narrow it down to th three to five. I'm going to um, do the the exact match domain search. I'm going to see which one is available, and then from there, uh, we're going to do some keyword. Or I'm sorry, some uh, competitor analysis, and I'm going to show you how we can tell if we really want to go into the niche or not. Okay? See you guys in the next video.